here to help give your investments the edge. Phil Dow, Director of Equity Strategy, RBC Dan Rauscher, who says he's staying defensive, 20% cash in stock accounts. Also joining us, Todd Schoenberger, Director of Brokerage with the USAA. He says the market will make lower lows. Sounds to me like both of you guys are going to be a bummer here. <laughs> Phil, you think uh, we uh, are in, still in jeopardy? Uh, my guess is you're going to see the, the clouds part here for at least the, the short-term period. We got, we're going into a Fed uh, report next week where they probably cut. A uh, critical report next week is jobs and ISM later in the week. But my guess is none of, none of this activity has taken away the risk of continued losses from subprime financial engineering excess. And then we're still flying on instruments with regard to earnings for 08. I don't think that clears up till maybe March, April. So for, for fundamentally driven investors, there's still some questions to be answered, Mark. Todd, you yeah. know, I, I understand the problems out there, the subprime that Phil just talked about, uh, the oil, which is like a tax. Oil, by the way, up another buck 60 today. But bad things rarely happen to the stock market when the Fed's in the middle of an easing cycle. Well, that's a valid point there, Mark, but I have to agree with Phil right now. If you just look at the, the evidence that's out there, we, we are actually thinking that there is a recession that is occurring or we're at least at the goal line. And historically speaking, the S&P 500 does, does uh, decrease by 20 to 25 percent during recessionary times. So investors have to be cautious going forward with their equity investments. So, Todd, where do you hide? In well, the there's a couple of sectors you want to take a look at. Consumer staples and health care have always done well during recessionary times. And you just take a look back at, uh, actually, back to 1984, there have been 18 emergency Fed rate cuts. And consumer staples actually is the best performing sector in the 3, 6, 9, and 12-month period following the emergency rate cut. So I have to think that uh, if investors are willing to assume the risk of being in equities, those are probably the two sectors that, uh, that they should take a look at. Phil, same question to you. With the twist of, uh, you know, we are in, if we're in a recession right now, historically, a lot of stocks like consumer discretionary actually bounce higher six months out of the recession. So when do you know to switch back? <laughs> well, you know, I don't know whether we're in a recession or not. The market's been kind of acting of late like we might be going into one. Uh, having said that, there's still very attractive opportunities, even though we don't know a lot about earnings for the year. I think real attractive areas continue to be in health care, Technology had a couple of great uh, industry reports from both networking and software side today. And then I think natural gas exploration and production companies are attractive. There's a, there's a way to weather through this storm. We just think serious retirement money ought to have a little cash because if you do have a downtrend, uh, you want to take advantage of opportunities. There. All right, very quickly, Todd, what's our downside risk on the S&P or the Dow? Okay, well, you're looking at 20 to 25% downside from here. Mainly from here? From here, because prior bull markets tend to lose 70% of their value during a recession. Wow. If that's the case, we're looking at another 20% cut from the current value. Phil, your view, what's the risk? The risk is that if we have more bad news, you don't have an uptick rule anymore, and the shorts could take over and drive this market lower. My guess it's contained to 10% from down from here, Mark. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate thank you. your time. Thank Phil you. And Tom.